Exercise 7 sequence number 1 A We want to show that x minus 1 is a factor of 4x cube minus 3x square minus 1 If f minus is a factor then I will take this as fx f1 uh, should be equal to 0 If x minus 1, then f1 should be equal to 0. This should happen. So we'll see that when you get f1, we substitute here, uh, it will make equal to 0. So fx equal 4x cubed minus 3x square minus 1. When x equal 1, f1 equal, x minus 1 is a factor. So, x minus 1 is a factor. Then, make it equal to 0, x equal 1. That's how I take x equal 1. f1 is 4 1 cube minus 3 1 square minus 1, which is 4 minus 3 minus 1 is 0. Yes. Now f1 is equal to 0. Hence, f1 equal to 0. Hence, x minus 1 is a factor of fx this is this is not in the sum uh, this is I'm asking from this question uh, check x minus 2 is a factor then we will Check, we will find F2. X minus 2 equals 0, X equal to F2. Then 4, 2 cube, 3, 2 square minus 1. This is 4 times 8 minus 3 times 4 minus 1. 16 minus 1 not equal to 0. Hence, x minus 2 is not a, sorry, f2 not equal to 0. Hence, x minus 2 is not a factor. Now I'm going to part B. This is part B. We want to show that x plus 3 is a factor. Then x plus 3 equals 0, x equal minus 3. So I'll substitute x equal minus 3 here and see what is happening. Five times eighty one, forty five times twenty seven, six times okay, minus twenty seven, and this is minus three, 
minus 18 which is equal to 0 if minus 3 equals 0 hence x equal minus 3 is a root and x plus 3 is a factor If x plus 3 is a factor, then x equal minus 3 is root. x equal minus 3 is root, then x equal uh, plus 3 is a factor. Part C. If 4 is minus 3, 4 cube, then 13, 4 square, minus... 6, 4, plus 8, equals 0. Hence, f4 equals 0. And when x equal 4 is a root, and x equal x minus 4 is a factor. This is a question. If, if, if the question is asked, factorize fully, how do you do? So this is a cubic equation. Now you want to Go do a trial and error, put in x equal 1, x equal minus 1, x equal 2, x equal minus 2, x equal 3, x equal minus 3. And you want to find which one will give 0 if 1 equal. Uh, so you are checking if 2 not equal 0, not uh, uh, x minus 2 is not a factor, uh, x equal minus 2 not equal to 0, x plus 2 is not a factor, x equal minus 3 equal, uh, x minus 3 not equal to 0, x plus 3 is not a factor, x equal, x minus 1 e not equal to 0, x plus 1 is not a factor, x equal 1, Ah, equal to 0, x minus 1 is a factor. Uh, when you have this one, then you have a one factor. Then to find the other factors, what do you need to do? You are going to uh, divide this one from x minus 1. So this is going to be x square x cube minus x square then you have to minus this is going to be 7 x square plus 5 x then this is going to be 7 x 7 x square minus 7 x when you minus this is become 12 x minus 12 then this is become plus 12 so this is going to be 12x minus 12 this is going to be 0 so this is x minus 1 x square plus 7x plus 12 now you can simply this one x minus 1 this is going to be x plus okay you can't see this so uh, right now here um, x minus 1 times quotient is 7x plus 12. Now x minus 1, this is a quadratic equation, you know how to uh, factorize x plus 4. None. Now this is the question is look like, in this question number 2, they are show that x minus 1 is a factor. 
of this one. So they will help us telling that don't try to um, don't want so they are avoiding this part. They straight away that uh, x minus 1 is a factor. Right? They will give a hint. So you don't need to work this one. Then what is your conclusion when you tell that uh, x minus 1 is a factor then x equal uh, x, x equal minus 1 is a factor when you put f1 the answer should be equal to 0. So they ask us to show this one. Uh, to avoid that the uh, lengthy part. So that's how the sum. So then when I start, okay, we'll start number two question now. Show that x minus 1 is a factor. Then this is fx. Then I will find f1. Then 1 cube plus 6 times 1 plus 5 times 1 minus 12, which is 0. So f1 equals 0, hence x minus 1 is a factor. Uh, now you are allowed to divide this one. Now you are allowed to divide and now you can write the answer x minus 1 times this one. And then you can work it out. Now question number three, when you look at, you can see that, show that x plus one is a factor. So what is the meaning of that? Yes, when we show that it is a factor, we can divide this expression by x plus one. Now question number three, show that x plus one is a factor, this one. I'm not going to show. So I'm going to take I'm going to take x plus one is a show that x plus one is a factor. I'm not going to show. I will take x one is a factor and I'll simplify and then I'll show. So x one plus one is a factor. Then we'll start uh, then. 3x square minus 33x minus 35 equal x plus 1 times I want to find the, this bit. Okay, I'm going to find it now. x cube plus three x square minus 33 x minus 35 divided by x plus 1 x square x cube plus x square we minus this one 2x square minus I'll bring this one down then, uh, then this is going to be plus 2x plus 2x square plus 2x we have to minus this one, this is become minus 35x, I'll bring this one down 35, then this is going to be uh, sorry, minus, how many x goes to minus 35x? How many x goes into minus 35x? Minus 35. So then multiply by 35x times 35 okay it is fully factorized no rem remainder so then i can write this one x square plus 2x minus 5 now i can factorize this one next one is fully factorized this is going to be um oh this is not 5 this is 35 that's why this is 35 then uh, 7 times 5 uh, x plus 7 x minus 5 uh, now when i begin to quadratic i fully factorize now 
now it is not fair because I took x plus 1 is a factor. It's not fair taking like that. Then at least I want to show something that x1 plus is a factor. So I'll show you now. Uh, I'll put x minus 1. f minus 1 then minus 1 cube plus 3 minus 1 square minus 33 minus 1 5 a equals 0 i'm not going to calculate i know that is going to be a factor a equals 0 hence uh, x equal minus 1 is a okay so f minus 1 equals 0 so 1 2 so x equal minus 1 is a root and x plus 1 is a is a factor. How I found out this minus value to substitute here? When you have a factor, so make it equal to 0. Sorry. When you have a factor, make it equal to 0 and take minus that is the value you have to substitute. How do when you have a factor make it equal to 0 and x equal 1 that is the value of substitute. And if you given a root x equal 1 then go this way bring this to right side x plus 1 equal 0 then x plus 1 is a factor. This is very important bit. Question number 4. Now they ask us to show that. Now we will do it. Uh, because we follow the book. Um, so that x minus 5. So then f5. I am going to tell about f5. How do I put 5? I took x minus 5. I make it equal to 0 and I take 5 and substitute 5. fx is your root, then go back. Now when you put 5, 5 cube, 7 5 square, plus 2 5, plus 40, you have to simplify this one. So equal to 0. Hence uh, f5 uh, equal to 0. Then x equal 5 is a root. And uh, x minus 5 is a factor. Now we know this is factor, we can now x cube minus 7 square plus 2x plus 40. We have the division now x minus, now we want to find the quotient. So we will divide this one, x cube minus 7 square plus 2x plus 40 and divide by x minus 5. So this is going to be x square x cube minus 5x square will minus this one this is going to be minus 2x square plus 2x then this is going to be minus 2x minus 2x square plus 10x this is going to be minus 8x and bring 40 down now this is going to be minus 8 and minus 8x plus 40 and when you are minus it become 0. Now we found out the quotient x square minus 2x minus 8. Now fx equal this one and this one. Now we can fully factorize x minus 5 
this is a quadratic equation you don't know how to uh, factorize so that is x minus 4 x plus 2 now show that x equal x minus 2 is a factor so f2 equal to 2 cube plus 3 2 square minus 8 2 plus 8 this is equal to 0 hence f2 e f2 equal 0 hence x equal 2 is a root and x minus 2 is a factor now we will divide this one now equal to 0 2x cube plus 3x square minus 18x plus 8 now I know x minus 2 is a factor now I want to find the, the quotient now we'll divide this one 2x cube 3x square minus 8x plus 8 divided by uh, x minus 2 so this is going to be 2x square then 2x cube minus uh, 4x square we want to minus this is 7x square minus 18x now this is going to be plus 7x so 7x square minus 14x you want to minus this one this is going to be minus 4x bring this one down plus 8 now and this is going to be minus 4 then minus 4x plus 8 okay fully factorized no remainders um, now we know the quotient 2x square plus 7x minus oh, now we can fully uh, this is fx so this is going to be x minus 2 2x minus 1 x plus 4 now if I ask a question like this show that x minus 2 is a factor of fx this is what you need to do one method is you have to put f2 and you want to show this is equal to zero second method if you want you can divide this one divide this one by x minus 2 and you and you will do you want to show that remainder is 0 show that x minus 2 is a factor of fx what you need to do either when you put this one equal to 0 this is one method or the second method uh, x minus 2 when you divide this remainder is C. If you look at question number 19, 7b, 7b question number 19, 142 page, show that 4x minus 1 is a factor of fx. So in this, at that time, did we do this method? No. We only did, we, sim we divide and show that the remainder is 0.